A week of empty words and amateur dramatics from this country's corrupt, bought and paid for, non-elected government. A load of bluster and grandstanding from Sunak, Jenrick and Braverman about mass uncontrolled immigration. And what did Sir Keir Starmer have to contribute? Absolutely nothing. I mean, you can't expect the leader of the opposition and probable impending Prime Minister to have any ideas for himself. Come on now, be realistic. The last we saw of him, he was being chased out of a Glasgow train station by far-left white middle-class pro-Hamas Nazis, with lots of time on their hands and precious little sense in their heads. But don't forget, it's the rarely spotted elusive far-right we somehow need to be worried about. Everyone keeps blethering on about the Rwanda plan, as if there's some semblance of a possibility it could actually work, when there isn't, even if Sunak was able to push it through, which he isn't. Because we all know, the only way for Sunak to push through the Rwanda plan is to leave the European Convention on Human Rights, which he won't because he's a conniving globalist chill. Anyway, all that aside, if people think the remote possibility of a third world migrant being amongst the unlucky few being bundled onto a Rwanda plane is going to detract them from coming here when they've risked their lives crossing continents and oceans and placed their trust in criminal scumbag traffickers, then those people should probably pick their brain up off the floor because I assume it's dribbled out of their ears. You cannot get a hospital appointment on the NHS. The vast majority of people under 30 have insurmountable housing problems, so it's no wonder they're all having a gender-induced breakdown on TikTok. If your kid is privileged enough to get a school place, he'll be in a class with six special needs children and ten that can't speak English. But hey, I'm sure that won't affect his progress. Leave no child behind, am I right, guys? The social infrastructure of this country has collapsed because of a population explosion. Not people here already having kids, third world rejects pouring across our borders unimpeded and in fact helped on their way by scumbag legal aid lawyers that you've paid for with your taxes. But that's just the first of many bills you're paying for our new arrivals, isn't it? Lucky you, diversity is our strength. Multiculturalism has enriched us. Oh, but hang on, look how horribly run down most of the UK is and how broke most families are, despite both parents working full time. Oh, well, never mind. I'm sure Labour will sort it all out next year.